Hello, welcome to CryptoBP. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to install GUI version of OneChain Wallet, create your first one chain address, and how to backup your account. First, disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. I'm quite biased and everything that I say in my videos are just my opinion. OneChain is one of the top most anticipated projects currently in the cryptocurrency and blockchain world. During the ICO, they issued ERC20 tokens, which needs to be exchanged for native WAN coins. Their mainnet is live and currently all the token holders are eagerly waiting to exchange their ERC20 version of WAN tokens for the native tokens. This will happen by the end of next week, which is around the first week of February 2018. Warning: Do not buy WAN tokens from EtherDelta. The tokens that are bought through EtherDelta will not be exchanged for the native WAN coins. To know more about this, please check out the video where Dustin Byington, the president of VanChain, explains about this in the video. I have provided the link to the video in the description down below. To exchange the tokens to the native Van coins, you will need to download and install VanChain Wallet. The steps for downloading and installing VanChain Wallet is almost similar for both macOS and Windows. First, I will download and install VanChain Wallet on macOS and then later in the video show you how to do the same with Windows. Before you download and install VanChain Wallet, you should always make sure that there are no viruses or any malware present in your computer. Please run a complete check on your computer using any of the famous antivirus softwares. I always prefer a clean computer system before I install any cryptocurrency wallet and create my first cryptocurrency address for the wallet. Also, after creating the wallet, I move my private keys and store them in portable devices. This is just to prevent uh, hackers trying to access my private keys. Now let's download the wallet. Open a browser and go to vanchain.org. Click on products menu. You will find GitHub link under van wallet section. Click the link and it will take you to GitHub page where you will find wallet installation files. Just scroll down to the page and find the version 1.0.0. Here you will find the installation files for Linux, macOS, Windows and so on. Click and download this file for macOS version. This will download a zip file. Double click on the zip file to extract the van wallet application. Copy WAN Wallet GUI file to Applications folder. Whenever you want to open a third-party application on macOS for the first time, always right-click on the application and click Open option. Do the same with WAN Wallet 2. Right-click on WAN Wallet application and click Open. This will display a warning message. Click Open button. This may take some time, but you will see the WAN chain window. This will start the application and it will connect to WAN chain node and synchronize with the network. Once you see the option launch application, click on it. You will see this main dashboard. Let's cut here and install the same for Windows also. I am using Windows 10. For Windows, download the Windows version of the file. Open the downloads folder or the folder where the file was downloaded. Extract the files to program files folder. For the sake of this video, I am extracting them to the downloads folder itself. Double click on the folder and scroll down to find the one wallet GUI exe file. Double click on it. Windows may display a warning message, click on more information and click run anyway. It may take some time for the window to come up. The wallet will download the one chain node and will start synchronizing. If Windows displays a security alert asking you to allow access, then click allow access button and continue. Click launch application option. From now, the steps are all the same to create a new account and take a backup of the account on one chain wallet for both macOS and Windows. To create your first account, click on account button. Type a name for the account, enter password, confirm the password and click OK. This will create your first WAN chain account with WAN address and its private key. You must backup the key store folder once the account is created. Make sure that you copy your public and private keys to a text editor file and save it in a safe location. To copy the public address, click here. To copy the private address, click here. To backup your account, click on File, Backup, Accounts. This will open a finder window in Mac OS or explorer window on Windows OS. You will find the folder called key store. Back up this folder by copying it to a safe location. Generally, I copy all these files to a couple of portable devices such as SD card or external hard drives. To check the balance, you don't have to open and log into your WAN wallet. You can always check it on WAN chain explorer. Just go to explorer.wanchain.org, copy paste your address over here and press enter. This will display WAN balance and all the transactions for this address. Right now WAN coins have not been swapped and hence we don't see anything over here. 
Once Vanchain releases the steps to uh, swap the ERC20 tokens with the native Van coins, I will create a video with step by step instructions on how to safely swap them. That's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. If you like the video, give thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. You have a great day. Bye bye.